Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all doing well today. Today is going to be my July favorites. I hope everybody had an amazing month of July. July was an awesome month for me. My boyfriend and I went back home to Washington. We drove back home to see family and friends. It was our first time from moving here to Colorado, so it was amazing. That was like the highlight of my month. And also some exciting emails that are going to include some exciting videos coming up as well. Today I'd kind of go all out in some pinks, bright colors, um, but I did do a makeup tutorial. It'll be my next video, and it's kind of transitioning a tiny bit into fall. Um, basically, it's going to be like a bronze gold uh, eye tutorial, and I'm going to share two different lips, one kind of like nudish peachy, and then one, there's the fly in here, and then one um, kind of more deep berry color, kind of sort of getting into fall. So give this video a thumbs up if you're kind of ready for fall. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. Let's start off with a lip scrub that I made. This was my first DIY video that I did, and I actually posted this up on the TMC Trust Me Cosmetics Beauty Blog. I will link it down below if you want to check it out. Basically, I made my own lip exfoliator or lip scrub. I had all the ingredients already in my home. It is so easy to do, you guys. Literally, I used brown sugar, coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of honey, and that was it and then got this jar. That's literally it, and my lips feel so amazing. I was like biting my tongue. I was like, why haven't I done this sooner? Also, typically with my favorites, it's about products that I have used a ton, and most of those products I'll have some sort of full-on review, demonstration, really in-depth swatches, or something like that. So if if that's the case, instead of me saying that every single time after a product, link it right up here. You can see it on your cell phone or whatever device, your um, computer, whatever device that you're watching this video on. And of course, also this in the description box. But just know, anytime that I do have like that full review or anything, it'll pop up right here. It'll say suggested video and it'll pop it up. I've been recently getting a lot of questions on if I'm whitening my teeth, what I'm using to whiten my teeth, and maybe if I can do a video on it. Definitely going to do a video on it. I've been using the White With Style uh, Teeth Whitening Kit. So in here you get this little card here that kind of you can put around your teeth to see what number you are, which is a little bit depressing, I'm not going to lie. You get your little gel, you get your little LED light, the whole deal in here. And the best part is, you guys, this whole kit retails for $269, but this company hooked me up with an amazing coupon code for you guys to get this whole entire kit for $28. Again, this I'm going to do more in depth, I'm going to do a full kind of like before and after, uh, full on routine, everything, so keep a lookout on for that video, but for now I'll link them down below as well. I also wanted to mention a dry shampoo, I did pick this up this month, this is the first time ever that I've used the Herbal Essence Naked Dry Shampoo. I didn't even know Herbal Essence had a dry shampoo, so I picked this up. I love it so much. So it not only absorbs all of your oils, but it kind of re-adds the shine back into your hair. Like you just took a shower, did all your stuff, styled your hair. You know how sometimes dry shampoos, you can put it in and it does absorb the oil, but then it makes it look kind of dull and not flaky, but just really dull and bland up there? This kind of rejuvenates your hair and adds more shine, but takes away the oil. Love it. Next is this highlight trio by City Color Cosmetics. As we all know, the word and the phrase strobing has become very, very popular here on social media. And I did recently do a video, it'll be popped up there, um, kind of like sharing my thoughts on strobing, doing a full tutorial for you guys on strobing. This product came a day later, but I was really looking forward to this product. This is the City Color Highlight Trio. You're basically getting three different highlighter shades. This is love at first sight for me. You guys, these are amazing. Of course, I really gravitate towards this gold one right here, and also this kind of champagne one. Retails for $8.99. I do have a coupon code, Katarina13, to get 10% off your whole order, always at City Color Cosmetics. Um, but what I love about it is under ten dollars for one and you are getting that beautiful gold shade that champagne and then the pearly shade it's so universal and then even though I'm not going to use this pearly shade uh, maybe right now because it's summertime I may grab it in the winter time or this is a perfect inner corner tear duct highlight just highly recommend this um, and I'll do up close kind of swatches as well there's one thing that I recommend out of this whole entire video for you guys to go pick up or to try out. It's this highlight trio. I stand behind it 100%. I love it so much. And it's so affordable. But two brushes that I wanted to mention really quick just because I realized that I use these two brushes every single day. I use a lot of the same brushes every single day, but these two, I just, I love them so much. This one first is a Real Techniques blush brush. Yes, they are dirty. I use them all the time. They need to be cleaned. I use for a bronzer, I use a little bit for contouring if I want a soft contouring. I use it for blush, I use it for everything. My favorite way is to use it for bronzer. Um, I love Real Technique brushes, they are very soft, but not too soft if that makes sense, so highly recommend this one. 
the other one that I use all the time for setting my under eye concealer, you guys see this in like literally every single makeup tutorial, is this is an RC Cosmetics brush. The one con I have about them is that they do not label their brushes other than their logo. So I can't really refer to this. This did come in a set, but they are super, super affordable brushes and I just love it. It's that perfect tapered point to get right here under your eyes. Not going to go too much in depth. These are the two foundations that I've been using, of course, like the past couple of months, I feel like. Maybelline Fit Me, my shade's 220 or 228. And then L'Oreal Infallible, my shade is 106 Sun Beige. Love these. Cannot get enough of them. Today, I am wearing just the L'Oreal Infallible in Sun Beige. This has been my Holy Grail lip combination this whole entire month. You've probably seen it in quite a few videos. I am wearing it right now, but I also did pair it with another product I'm going to talk about. I just kind of layered them all on. Basically, it is the e.l.f. matte lip color in the shade T-Rose, and mixing that with the Hard Candy uh, Sheer Envy lipstick in the shade Idolize. This combination is just something else. I've mentioned this so many times, but these are like my perfect shades of lipstick, and if I were to create a lipstick, it would be very similar to these. They're kind of like up that tea rose alley, which is pretty much my all-time favorite color. Um, so this is what they are like swatch. This is the tea rose. This is the sheer envy. These hard candy lipsticks, you can get them at Walmart, and they're only $5. And then this e.l.f. one is um, $3, so super affordable. Then the other lip product that I wanted to talk about, I've really been enjoying kind of like pinks this month too, because um, I have one other pink as well. This is the LA Girl Glaze Lip Paints, and this one is in the shade um, Whimsical. I thought it was going to be a little bit more purpley when I bought it online, but it's this beautiful pink. That's what I paired over top of... This whole combination is what I have, if that makes sense. It's a beautiful kind of like mid-tone pink. It's not too loud, not too crazy, but it's just that perfect pink, and especially if you do have a tan going on, it's very, very flattering. The tip that I wanted to mention is go figure another pink. I think it's because in my head I know this is kind of like the last month that I'm really going to be rocking bright pinks that I'm just kind of like, you know, going on my pinks right now because I'm so excited to get into my deep berry shades as well. This is the Trust Me Cosmetics Lipstick in the shade Cotton Candy. Guys, if you are looking for like a bright, um, in-your-face pop of color Barbie pink, this is it. This is so perfect. It's only about $8. The formula is amazing. So it comes off kind of matte, but it's not drying or anything like that. I love this formula. Such a great lipstick, and yeah, it's just so bright and in your face. Concealer I've been using non-stop. This has quickly become a holy grail for me. LA Girl Pro HD Concealer. It's in the shade Nude. So, of course, I did do a video on all the shades that I do have of this. If I could recommend one shade to you guys to try out, if you are curious about trying it out, and if you suffer from those kind of bluish under eye dark circles, try out the shade Nude. This is the perfect peachy salmon shade, not too orange. Um, so it's going to do a little bit of brightening as well. But it is literally the most perfect shade for brightening up under my eyes and correcting those uh, under eye dark circles. I'm really sad I can't find my favorite blush that I've been going for this month is actually from e.l.f. It's called Berry, Berry Amore. I think it's Berry Amore Blush. I cannot find it anywhere. It's been what I've been using literally every single day. I do have this City Color Be Matte Blush to show you. This is the one I'm wearing today. The e.l.f. one is very, very similar to this. Um, so I really love this one out as well. And this is in the shade Blackberry. It's Again, around that tea rosy, kind of plumish, beautiful color. I love these type of colors when I have a tan going on and in the fall time, but when you have a tan going on, it just really adds so much warmth to the skin, and I just really like it. So, since I can't find the e.l.f. one, um, the City Color Cosmetic one is really similar as well. Another love at first sight with me is this Morphe 35W palette. This is my first Morphe palette, and I was a little bit hesitant about it because I was like, are they really worth the hype? I didn't get my hands on the Jaclyn Hill palette, uh, Jaclyn Hill favorites, but I, I found this on Holt Look, and it was an amazing deal. So I picked this guy up. This is amazing, you guys. These shadows are so stunning. This is the tutorial I was just referring to at the beginning of this video. In that tutorial, I use this beautiful kind of orangey shade, the champagne shade. It's a very kind of warmy bronze shade, so this one over here. I love this so much. This is like a neutral palette girl's dream. It has a mixture of mattes and shimmers and sparkles and satins all in one. If you want a full on review, swatches of all the colors, I can definitely do that because sometimes it can be hit or miss with these type of palettes, like the bulkier palettes. Um, but this, these shadows are great, you guys. I cannot say enough good things about them. Alright guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. You know, as always, in the comments down below, what are your, what are some of your favorite products that you've been loving this month? Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!